Hello and welcome back everybody to day 70 of our Alpha 19 series. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming and today we are going to experience our last horde. It's a little bit of a bittersweet moment, it really is. We have been through so much at this place and we're gonna end it right here. I considered doing something else, maybe a different horde base. We've experimented with quite a few this series, but I think it would be a good, uh, you know, an homage to our beautiful home to leave it off right here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit sad, but also a little bit good. We're going to be starting a new series right after something else, something fresh, something new. Now, you know Camp Hope, if you watch any of the other episodes, it's not really equipped to deal with a horde. Let, let's be real, it's, it's not ready. It's not ready. But, you know, we have rockets, and if we have to blow it down, we blow it down. Uh, no, not to worry. Uh, these logs are not wood, otherwise we would absolutely get decimated. This is all concrete and we've all just painted it, so it, it should hold, technically, in theory. Um, but if it doesn't hold, maybe we'll make some, some blocks to the house. Let's, let's fix this up a bit, because it does need some work. But before the insane difficulty, nightmare mode, 64 count zombies destroy this place. We're gonna take one last look at our beautiful home. Let's go in. We have our beautiful garage, our well, our crafting area, our little farm. Oh, this place has served us well. It really, really has. This has been a wonderful space and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. It's small, it's quaint. It's everything we've ever wanted out of a home. Now going down into the basement, you will see our wine cellar, a beautiful little storage area. And even below that, well, you know what lays behind this. A tunnel, a well. Going into the sewers. Yes, I know this might seem a little bit crazy, but who would ever suspect a home to be behind this? As we enter, we have a kitchenette, we have a dining room, as well as a bedroom on the other side, with, you know, a pool table and all the amenities. We need to take care of our prisoners. I mean, visitors. Coming in, uh, you will notice the gore that unfolded. Don't worry, guys, they're all zombies. And L-A-N-E-Y overlooks our ceremonial ground. Uh, we did have a chicken here. Don't worry, it's not dead. It's still running around here somewhere. But at the end, what really matters is what we're going to do to this base. How we're going to get ready for this horde. I think our best bet would be just to remove the ladder here. Well, the staircase. And we would be up here. Uh, this will obviously not hold as wood. I don't even think it will hold as metal. Uh, but we can and maybe add some blocks on top of these here. And hope for the best. Uh, I think that's probably my only shot at survival. If I really wanted to, I could, in theory, turn these into metal and hope that that's enough. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think it will be. I think my best bet would be, uh, these do damage if I step on top of them, but would be to put some blocks on top of these and hope that maybe I'm able to jump up there since I do have parkour. So I would be able to jump to the second block and we should be able to throw explosives and whatever we need. So let's grab some frames. All right, and we're going to do this. We're going to add a whole nother layer to the outside of our base, just temporary, just for funsies, okay? We're gonna remove these stairs, and then we're gonna do connecting bridges to all the buildings. Uh, this should at least just be fun. I think it'll be something new, something different. Um, of course, we're gonna pull out the rocket launcher, and I don't know what's gonna happen to this place. All right, the first thing to do is to add the rebar frames. Uh, I don't know if this is, you know, like the best idea, but this is all I could think of. It's either that or I have to redo this whole thing on the side, and I, you know what, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, this will be more than enough. To be fair, I think we, we should be able to just survive off of this, but, you know, it, it would probably be fun if we're able to, to at least jump to the buildings and uh, kind of see where the horde takes us. It's going to be a crazy horde. Oh. Yeah, that's why you don't step on that. It's gonna be an insane horde. A an absolute nutty horde. I could not do this at a rebar, but I mean, since the series is ending and we do have so much material left, I, I don't see why not. I ended up getting a ton of stone from the underground area here where I dug the all that thing out. It was 
I mean, I got insane amount of stones. The mixers have just been going constantly. So I, I think it's probably going to be fine. Uh, we still have some rebar frames left from the from the construction down there. And uh, not as much concrete, but we have enough concrete that I think we could do this. Oh, hello, tree. Oh, do I have to get rid of my beautiful tree? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We'll, we'll just jump down here. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We can't we can't get rid of the tree. No, no, no. If it falls down in the course of the horde, then that's one thing. But I'm not gonna purposely get rid of it. No, no, no. It's beautiful. It's beautiful where it is. Um, I've said my goodbyes to Camp Hope. I really have. Uh, I'm a little bit sad, you know. It's It was my baby. I spent so much time making this place. But we're gonna construct something really awesome, hopefully, for our next series. So... I'm really excited. Uh, there's a couple of ideas I have. I was thinking maybe we will do... Um, well, there's a couple of ideas. We have like a one city idea. And we have a, a bit of a marksman themed series. So, I mean, let me know what you guys would prefer. I will probably have that going in a couple of days. Like, that's how fast I want to start uh, the new series. I'm going to have to probably block that off and, and go higher here. I don't... I don't know because otherwise that's not gonna it's not gonna work over there so we'll do that and then we'll add a couple blocks here hopefully um this will work it's it's hard to tell to be honest uh, we're, we're making a couple of improvements let's just say to the space it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine the zombies are not even gonna know what hit them so there we go we have a little bridge to our main house and we can jump over here to this side and I think we'll connect these two as well. Why not? Uh, we'll go at the highest point, of course. And we'll do a little... Uh, just, just a quick connect here. Okay. Connected. Um, sorta. Connected. <laughs> oh, that's fine. This is, this is good. This is good. This is all planned. All intended. Um, I'm even gonna add another support here in case of disaster. But honestly, it doesn't actually matter because they can just tear down like one level of flooring and I'll be dead. Okay, so there we have it. That should be good. I gotta start upgrading quickly or this is not gonna dry up in time. And that's it. That's all we had to do. We just had to put uh, little supports everywhere here. We had to put some kind of uh, buffer on top of that. I could have made that out of wood. In fact, making it out of flagstone would have been fine. But like I said, I just had the resources, so might as well. Uh, and... I didn't want to make it out of wood, though, because, you know, the cops will spit, something will happen, and then I'll end up hurting myself. And we don't need that. We don't want that. But the only problem with connecting these is yeah, the zombies could get to us, but, you know, we gotta live one moment at a time. And if this is our end, if this is how it ends, I think that would be acceptable, for sure. And if we die today, it would just be a true indication of my current skill level. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll live or we'll die. One way or another, this shall end. I don't foresee anything so terrible happening. And if it does, then it does. I will have plenty of rockets. Worst case scenario, we'll end up in some sort of street port situation. But you know, we've been in before. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. We're going to be just fine. Let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of this and uh, chop down the stairs. And I think we're absolutely ready for the horde. All right, well, the place is set. It's still pretty early in the afternoon, though. And I have nothing to do. It's just me and Bob hanging out here. Here we go. Let's get this started. I think to be safe, let's just knock this thing out here. No. Well, already starting uh, as predicted. But not to worry, we have so many rockets. They're never going to get us, guys. They're never going to get us. Unless I fall, we're going to be just fine. Oh, <laughs> Watch them come. Um, 
It just occurred to me that our way up to that ramp might be destroyed. Oh my, they're already making their way through that? I thought for sure I made this strong enough. It's possible that I did not. Alright, let's make a jump through here. Hi guys! Welcome to the party! Oh, I am so happy right now, guys. I'm absolutely delighted about what's going on here. It was only a matter of time. How did he get up here? This is a traitor. Right here. Uh, he's not supposed to make it up there. Absolutely not. <laughs> These zombies are really tough, though. Even with the cop spitting, even with the cop blowing up, it's not going to die. Yeah. I was so leveled up. How wonderful. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. No, don't do me like this. Alright, they're in. They're in. The breach has happened. Well, we knew it was only a matter of time. Uh, I'm glad it's not going too, too bad. Uh, well, you know, considering. Considering. Alright, so they are going inside the house, which was what I suspected would happen. To be fair. Uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get to the level. So, hopefully if they break... You know, if they break in, they'll be able to, uh... To get inside, but I'm... I'm going to hope not, alright? I'm going to hope not. We'll just keep throwing these out there. We have so many explosives. They're not gonna even see us coming. <laughs> alright, uh, let's take the Ford Bites. It's just gonna make it just a little bit easier. As well as the crush, I will also take all the candy and everything else. Let's get fully buffed. And, uh, you know, destroy our house. Oh no. Oh no. Please, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not knock me off this thing. Or we're gonna have a huge, huge issue. <laughs> My beautiful place. Here's how it ends. Here's how it ends. Okay, look at all these buffs. <laughs> this is insane. I went a little bit nuts. Let's just say I grabbed everything in the cupboard. Just grab everything. How did this guy... Okay, he, he must have been rocketed up here. Uh, let's try to make it over the ledge. To this side. It's a little bit scary to go over that, I'll be honest. Guys, I think they're... Are they breaking in? Oh, so many zombies. Oh, Camp Hope, you did not know. Oh, it's got... Wait, how? How? Oh, my God. Well. She's still not dead. Okay, she's dead now. Okay, just don't fall. Please. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Okay. The explosive damage should be insane right now. Should be absolutely nutty. So, I'm thinking we don't have anything to worry about. But... This is a crazy horde. These are crazy settings, so things could always go a bit wrong. And as you can see, somehow they made it up here. Somehow. Of course, I didn't bring a splint, so hopefully I won't fall into the ground. Or things will go very, very bad. But I brought antibiotics. I brought everything, guys. There's a 0% chance that I'll be caught off guard here. You know, this is, a, this is a last hurrah. We might as well enjoy it. Might as well use up everything we've been farming for this whole time. Even things that I wasn't even sure I was going to use. Like this uh, Mega Crush. Why not? You know what? Just let's go for it. Oh, no. My beautiful porch. Uh, look, at least... Things are not going as bad as, uh, as I predicted. The house is still somewhat intact. We're gonna have to do something about that after. That's for sure. No. Oh, I, now I'm shooting rockets on one zombie? That's absolutely baller. That's a, that's a, I don't care anymore. <laughs> a move. We have doggies swimming in there. Well, there were before I absolutely deleted them. Let's throw a couple more in there, you know? Made a nice little area for a zombie to swim in. Take a bath. Take a rest. No big deal. Oh, so many feral whites. 
So many cops. Doggies. We have everything. We have absolutely everything here. I thought about making explosive... Ow! I, I thought about making explosive arrows, but I decided against it because, well... I don't have a spec for it, and I'd rather use my gunpowder to make more rockets. <laughs> rockets are sick. So we're going for it. Uh, I was already kind of committed. Oh my no. Oh my no. Um, okay. There was a demolisher in there, clearly. And, uh, uh it didn't go well. It did not go well. But that's okay. I, I believe in us. Okay, I think before we go too crazy here... Let's try to at least throw some other things other than rockets. Save some rockets. You never know, we might need them. There's still a long time to go. A long night here. Let's keep going. Nope. Chill. Oh no! They tore down my tree! Oh, and things have gotten just a bit bad over here. Let's turn on the light, just so we can see clearly. My garden is no more, that's for sure. Guaranteed. Oh, I tried. I tried, but it's just too much. <laughs> they all blew up there. And again. And again. And again. Just keep going. 30,000? I wonder how much we could we could get to, okay? If we just keep shooting continuously. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, I wanted to see if I could get 50k experience. That would be insane. Like, concurrent. But not yet. No, no, it doesn't seem like it. There's more coming. Alright, we're moving. We're moving on down. I haven't seen another demolisher in a bit, so I'm thinking we're probably okay. I'm a bit exhausted, don't worry, I did bring some vitamins. So we should be okay. I brought vitamins, antibiotics, and I brought painkillers, I brought all of those things. I just did not bring a splint, so we better not, we better not fall, that's all. I gotta say, the only thing I'm surprised by, which I thought was gonna go a lot worse, Oh no, here is the demolisher. Because I thought for sure we were gonna get a lot of birds, and that would have really ruined things for me. But it seems like we did not. Let's go ahead and just spam. Oh, we have the ammo. So we might as well go full Rambolini here. Yeah. You thought... You thought you were safe. You thought you were good. Please. Please, get ready to get deleted. This is craziness. Well, you know what? We'll almost guaranteeedly do it. The rockets. So, let's just throw a few of them in here, though. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! I see. They're, they're using each other as a stepping stool. We cannot allow this. Let's throw a few open ones here. And then we're gonna pull one... Oh. Alright. We cannot die to one zombie. That would be absolutely embarrassing. Tasty. We got the antibiotics. We got the painkiller. Uh, I think that's it. That's what uh, took care of business over here. Very nice. Oh my god, they're just streaming in. <laughs> this is never ending. Poor Camp Hope. more there's more just burn all of you burn 
Oh, this this looks beautiful. It actually looks really. Oh no. Oh no. Well, if you didn't know that would happen, where have you been? That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, just in case, let's take one of these. You know, we, we better be safe than sorry. <laughs> it does look beautiful, though. It does indeed. It looks better now that I've made a little bit of room for new players. New zombies to come into the game. And uh, they're spawning in, as you can see. <laughs> oh, it's it's so crazy. It's so, it's so crazy in here. I love shooting like this. It's not usually possible. Because it's usually not advisable to just waste bullets like this, but... You know, when it's the end, it's the end. This is what we've been working for. This is what we've been doing everything for. To be able to demolish things indiscriminately. And I think we finally made it. We're there. Alright, one more rocket. <laughs> oh, absolutely perfect. <laughs> I love how they flop over. Oh, when it's almost 4 a.m., the fun is ending. No. I've leveled again. This is crazy. I've made it three levels or something on this board. That's how insane it is. Oh, I'm just gonna keep shooting over there as they come in. That should help me out quite a bit. We're at 40. This is the highest we've been. 42,000? 45,000? Oh, I don't think there's more coming. 47? 48? Oh, we're almost out of rockets. No, no, no. No. 52,000. That's how far we got in one shot. That is insane. The amount of experience we have gotten in this ward has been just so nutty. Incredible. And there we go, guys. 4 a.m. And well... <laughs> Camp Hope. You have been wonderful. You have been beautiful. And there we have it. It is officially morning. Uh, I didn't go many other places. I mean, I went on top of this house quite a bit. I went on top of this and on the ledge. Um, I was there for just a smidgen. And I was here for a smidgen as well. But not really... <laughs> Oh my, they made it down! They made it down to the basement! Yeah, if you guys don't know, this cabin is on top of uh, the area where we go all the way down, you know, into the pit of destruction and death. But, uh, that's crazy, they did! They made all their way down there. Oh, they've taken down quite a bit of my little... my little camp. Oh, How sad. Let's see if uh, we can see what's left in here. Oh, well... <laughs> Not much. Not much. All my food, my water, everything's gone. Good thing we used a lot of it because, um, well, this is taking a beating. I don't think they made it up there to the roof, at least not a whole lot, but they did make it up here. Oh, they even took down the... our chicken coop! How dare you! How dare you! I mean, that was probably just AoE damage in general. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've done a number here. I added some lanterns so we could see a little bit better. I don't know if that helped, guys. I mean, it is Fortnite outside. What can I say? And we have uh, our old farm absolutely decimated. All right. Well, it held as expected. Not very well. <laughs> but, you know, not too bad, to be fair. I mean, yeah, we lost a few blocks. But it was kind of expected. I wonder if this is still working. Oh, wow. That motion sensor has made it through everything. And look at this. There's only a few traps missing here. I wonder why they didn't go through this door. I thought for sure they would go through the door. That's still here. That's still kicking. And uh, we're missing a little bit of glass here. Nothing too crazy. Oh, this place made it. And look, the turret that meshed from up there is still here. <laughs> How wonderful. All right. Well, team, I, I don't think you realize this is not enough, though. You know what? It took a bit of a beating but it's not enough for me to completely give up on it. And for me to move on, I need to see it gone. 
I need to see it. Well, I need not to see it, basically. We can do a little bit better than the zombies. Okay, team? <laughs> We've done it. I've added these barrels everywhere here. And uh, they're not very legit. Yeah, I don't even know if you can make them. I went ahead and got them, let's say. And we're going to just take a look at what happens to our base just now. It should create a chain reaction that should, in theory, you know, blow everything up. Now, I didn't put any on the house, so we should theoretically survive. But mm, who knows? Who knows? Let's just say. Let's go ahead and take a little candy for fall damage because you never know. And then we can zoom out so we can see the fireworks. Fire! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Well, this took a lot of damage, but it didn't quite completely destroy. They're not doing as much damage to the train as I thought they would. But not to worry. I have taken some precautions. Let's get rid of this place. Yes, screamers. Come here, ladies. Come here. You know you want to. <laughs> Scream away. Scream away. I'm not stopping. Not till it's all gone. It has to be so ugly that I don't want to be here anymore. Why don't we blow up the car too? Just for measure. I really don't know if we're able to blow up the car, but... It would be cool to know. I think I've tried it before and I was not able to. Well, we can try shooting it. Okay, after a full clip, I think I can safely say there is no way that car goes anywhere. Let's just keep going. I am going to be in so much trouble. This is certainly going to be the end. Everything's going to get destroyed. There are so many screamers here already. We called on neighborhood, that's for sure. I, I considered maybe trying to destroy the wall, but guys, that's going to take so long. This place is made well. That's all I have to say. I have done a superb job <laughs> of creating this thing. I don't think this would have ever gotten destroyed otherwise. So, you know, I'm pleased. It's nice to know that I built something so solid that it has survived through, well, an insane amount of testing. Let's just call it. But, you know, I am enjoying doing a little bit of demo. And, uh... When something leaves, something new will take its place. And I'm very excited about what is to come. So, well, this is a bit sad. We did work on this base quite a bit. You know, the time has come for good things to end. We'll get rid of the crafting area here. You have worked so hard. I think that is the room that I was in the most. And I, I loved it. I loved every, every little bit of it. I like how tiny it is. I think I'm going to focus on a tiny base design next time. So it's much easier to drop things off, much easier to collect. Uh, the separate buildings here was cool, but it was very difficult to get food and, and medicine all the time. I had to keep going to the wrong house. Oh, hey, look, the water collision is going crazy over there. <laughs> We've thrown so much dynamite that we actually killed a zombie with it. I don't know if you guys know, but dynamite uh, does not do a whole lot of damage. To, to zombies. Let's go ahead and toss one there. I wonder if we can land one in the hole. Oh, so close. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I wanted to land it in there so badly. Yeah, sure, let's just keep throwing them in there. I don't have that many left. I think this might be it. I might have to go get more. That's it. That is the end. Oh, this is, um... This is sad. And wonderful at the same time. I was gonna call on some people to help me with the destruction. But I decided to do this really weirdly at 5am. So, here I am. 
<laughs> Here I am at 5 a.m. destroying my home. You know, you gotta do these things when... When it speaks to you. Goodbye, you. It was so nice to deal with you. You were so kind. So gentle. You gave us such good items so early into the game. It was magnificent. But before we leave, I do have to visit one more place, one more spot where it all started. Yes, guys. We're going to raid our old cabin. Now, if you have been an OG from the start, you will know that this was our home. It was uh, barely our home, mind you. Uh, for a few days or until we got Camp Hope. But this was it. This was the place. Here is where we met Mr. Reach. There's still boxes here. Uh, trust me, I think they're empty. <clears throat> let's just pretend they're empty. And let's move on. This is where the intruders always broke in. And if we go down, there'll be a couple more zombies down here. Just a couple innocent souls waiting to be demolished. Here's our old forge. It never moved. I did take the cement mixer though, because that is pricey. But yeah, it's been it's been such a long time coming, so crazy. Uh, this is our mine, or at least one of them. It leads all the way down there, and I think a zombie has come to attack me. Right in the balls. I mean, he basically asked for it. But yeah, I just wanted to take one last look at our old home. You know, our beginnings. It brings back so many memories. And I hope for so many more. But I just wanted to thank everybody one last time so much for supporting this series. While this adventure might end, it also opens up an opportunity for a new beginning. The new series of Alpha 19 Seven Days to Die will start very, very soon after. Thank you so much everybody for your support, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Maybe I can jump. Oh no, I'm so gonna die. This better work. <laughs> well, at least we're consistent. We are that. <laughs>